Hello everyone, today we will craft some Righteous Fire Gloves. Step 1. Buy gloves that have at least a tier 2 max life mod fractured on them. Titan gauntlets are preferred. Step 2. Use pristine and aberrant fossils. And if you want to save time, you can also use sanctified fossils until you hit percentage to chaos resistance, regenerate life per second, and percentage increased life regeneration rate should be at least tier 3 tier 2 up to you and if you don't need the chaos resistance you can technically also just take a good elemental resistance roll so let's roll Okay, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna stop here. As you can see, we got a tier three life per second, not the best, percentage increased life regeneration tier two, and a tier one perfect chaos resistance aura. You can, of course, continue to roll to get a tier two or even tier one life per second roll and a tier one percentage increased life regeneration roll. Totally up to you. I'm just gonna stop here to not waste any more of your time. Okay, before we go to step three, make sure that you have an open prefix. If you do not have one, use a lesser Eldritch Amber. I currently don't have one on the item. And then use an Eldritch Orb of Annulment. If the Searing Exarch is dominant, remove a prefix modifier. This way you guarantee that we have an open prefix. This is very, very important. Okay, and step three now would be to go to your menagerie and use a Wild Bristol Matron. If you have no open suffix, you will guarantee suffixes cannot be changed on the item and it is cheaper i bought this one for 1.4 divine orbs and suffixes cannot be changed cost two divine orbs so you save a bit of money just right click it and it will get added roll down step four use a veiled chaos orb before you unveil the craft, craft regenerate life per second and do maximum mana onto the item so this mod cannot be unveiled. Unveil. And we hit it. If you did not get plus two to level of socketed AOE gems, you have to go back to step three. But make sure that you remove the regen regenerate life per second and maximum mana craft. Step five. Remove the Regenerate Life Hybrid mod and craft percentage increase damage during any flask effect. Step 6. Use Eldritch Amber until you hit percentage to fire damage over time multiplier.
Nice. And now use Eldritch Icor until you hit Inflict Fire Exposure on hit. That's Lightning Exposure? Li that's Lightning Exposure, unfortunate. Perfect. Let's use some blast orbs to make it perfect. Clean stuff. Okay, before we end the video, let's check the price for the item. Up to 22 divines. The life rack. And it doesn't exist anymore. Right, so we can roughly estimate that this item is worth between 20 to 40 divine orbs. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Alright, I hope you guys found this video informative. Good luck with the craft. Bye-bye.